Yeah, that's a kind of a neat touch. Um, definitely, they updated the music. I didn't realize that before. Because before, it was definitely like guitar. It's good though. Uh, so we last step we did we finished up all those um all those quests those little clean up the world quests that we had uh, and we have to go speak to Otto. We sent curse breakers to Martha's Rest, Dalamil, and Northreach. Hopefully they can help maintain the peace, or at least a semblance of it. All right. Yeah, let's get this done. I was wondering when you turn up. Had owls from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So, right. Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Let's go see Thank our bro. Know. All right. Reunion. I'm ready for it. I want to cry. What happened to his little, uh, his attendant? That was so him. it was not Sylvester, but Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. So Dion still alive. his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. Be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Let's hear the deeds. Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? Your mythos. You're his vessel. That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You are special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. They do not end there. Gotta catch the fact them all. Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? I'd uh, hazard a guess. I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? 
mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. Mm -hmm. Well, he was gonna... He was gonna... Like, get Clive back then. Oh, yeah. Joshua. Clive, it's Gav. There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. Canver? Akashic? Psychomantis? Shadow Moses? Well... What's the short of it? Myrtle, Ty had told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. Well, they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. All right, let's do it. Here we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road through Tabor should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua. Bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separate. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. <laughs> I don't think so. Brother. I'll look after him. Mama's boy Odin, or Barnabas, is going to see to it that something bad happens to Joshua. Um, so we have some new shit? Oh, yeah, we do. Hell yeah. Alright. I'm going to go read some letters. So we're gonna do these side quests first, because I want to get the um, the renown rewards before we leave. Because I think one of them was like an accessory or something. It seems the hideaways oh, lasted book. Here, you put me in this situation, Clive. You can bloody well get me out of it. I need a hand with a recipe. Are you sure it's me you're looking for? I'm not much of a cook. I'm all the cook will be needing. Thank you very much. What I want from you is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. You remember Ivan's stew, right? Well, despite the look of the thing and that awful stench, people wolf it down. So I thought people I'd try like making it? one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but, well. It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Ivan had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen. And I will not be outdone. So if you don't want to be seen as playing favorites, I suggest you lend me a hand. I've never been one to play favorites, Molly. And I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. So, what's on the menu this time? A fried mortress of Skyworm. That's one heck of a name, innit? Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a T. Only... Turns out Skyworm livers and Drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. 
Who's to say the ingredients even exist anymore? Well, that's a question for a kindly old fella who... Uh. Fine. And if he does, I'll see if I can f You do that. Well, we need this for the, uh, shit. The renown. I need it. Alright, whatever, man. Sure. Um, I saw that there was a letter. Did you see the pair that got pulled into time? Oh. Master Clive. Oh, cool. It's for, uh, Lord Byron. Rutherford. Wasn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? Why would he be in Martha's rest? Manservant. That's a interesting title. All right, Goots. An eye for an eye. Is everything all right, Goots? You seem more discomposed than usual. Oh, I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. Oh, I think Nan might be in trouble, and she's... <laughs> it's all right. You can tell me. <sighs> Forker saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but, but she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done it. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but she'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? You just want me to talk Don't to her? Worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks, Clive. You'll let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. All right. Uh, we could do that hunt. I just remembered we never got a chance to do that. So that was the uh, the S rank dragon. I really do believe we um, we could have beaten it. Yeah, it's in there. Um, I think we just yeah we we got stupid. We got a little greedy, like jumped into uh, one of the attacks. Sid, perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. I can certainly try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. Mid scales. The ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared, which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. Perhaps a visit from Sid will jog their memories. <laughs> I think it just might. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but if they were in the atrium when I love. All right. Gonna do it. While I'm here, talk to Bookman. Hippocrates. Bookman Hippocrates. I've come to pick your brain if you don't mind. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valesia, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find Skyworm livers and Drake's mint. Ah, so the fabled Sanbriquois delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. The descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. Now, <laughs> Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the wyvern. Their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Dragon livers. Ugh, how very some require. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback wyvern, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the Drake's Mint? Saint's Bonnet in contemporary parlance. A herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone. So I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add 
that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life, in which regard fried mortis of skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach then. Best of luck, Clive, and do save me a bite once the dish is complete. All right. This is kind of funny, like, so that these side quests, they didn't pop up before, um, but they did pop up once we said, like, time is of the essence, and our uncle, uh, as well as mid, uh, they're in trouble. Then we're like, ah, well, I gotta make this, I gotta get the ingredients to make this dinner. That's more Lady important. Karen. How's business? Not nearly as foul as the weather. You're doing good trade, then? Both... In and out of the hideaway. Hmm. Can't complain. Wait, what exactly are you getting at? Not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half a care. But here you are today, raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. Just asking. Out of interest. All right. I'm here because I was told that certain rumors have been circulating uh, about you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are you? And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? I, I, I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be there were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. But that woman is no more. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. You're right, Lady Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. No. I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. Of course. Good day. All right, well, that went about as good as I thought it was going to. All right, Goots, hope you're happy. We just lost our I discount. I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded. And that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth. Along with some other things that made her feelings clear. And while it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in out bad. Why would people say she was? What did she ever do to them? It's not right. No, it's not. But people so do things account. for all sorts of reasons. Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going to find out. That trader, he said they were all talking about her in Dalamil. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me. You'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Oh, right. Well... That's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clive? <sighs> I suppose it is. Sure. <sighs> okay, so then there's one more here before we... They need, like, fast travel here. I don't want to walk. Killing me. Making me do shit. to the right spot? Yeah, I am. Oh, is this the chick that's always, like, thirsting over a different person? The girls here can have Otto and Gav and Gareth and Cole and all the rest. She moves on quickly. My heart beats for another. 
Look at him. Oh, if only Lady Taya would let me into the infirmary to see him. Oh, she means Dion. Dion doesn't swing that way. Sister. Alright, so here's the kids. What do you reckon we should do? So, is that the scale? Out of your studies, I see. What is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Of course it isn't. Well, not anymore, it's not. <gasps> oh. And just how long hasn't it been one? We're sorry. But we didn't break them. We just dis dismembered them. Just like Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol? Right. I don't care. That's the only way to become a ninja near. Miss Mididol. Well then, your work is... Uh, the right. taking of... Speak! You three. So, let's so you guys broke it. So... No food. Alright. Everything here was once part of Miss Mididol's scales. Every piece has its own role to play. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The bot... Um, right. the arm, this is sorry. called the arm. Why do you suppose that? You're right. You've ridden a chocobo before. I'll think of hold things. Good thinking. I'm yeah. I'm I'm, I'm burning through this. The pans. These round parts. Are cool. I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. To what, fry what bangers. Are what are the sausages? Well spotted. And then the gear. This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel, or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Mididol's dungeon. She puts them in. That's right. right. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. Not a bad. Now put it together, you fucking idiots. Like, it's like the most simple so, shit. Now that we've taken stock of the parts, uh, I think we've got... Then here's what... Well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, and then... There it is. All right, there we go. Boom. Yes, we did it. Well. Oh, I just put the. That's uh, yeah. What you... the... Awesome. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Okay. Some of the quests um hey, are pretty boring. You don't think Sid forgot about it? And he forgot the. The wheel. So I wonder if Dion is going to join us as an ally. Or is this something new? Oh shit, we do have something new. Um, a C rank. So I will do that one, and I'll also do this one. So south of Tabor and Dalmachia. Tabor? Actually, that symbol means there's something new. I don't really care about those. So we're gonna knock all these quests out. Is a storm coming, Sid? Will that be? Well, did you solve the mystery? It was as you thought. The children had the scale. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Ah, oh, no, Mid will have my head. Thankfully, she won't. This might even have been her idea. Although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Please, there's no need. Mid seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. She'd have them follow in her footsteps. And... I see. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies have been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. 
the university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room, and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else, it would be an opportunity. But to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill, one she was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. And so... Ah, uh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm right. sure... Done. I'm just kind of skipping through this now. Wow. They actually have a decent chunk of experience. Cool. I really hope there ends up being something um, I can spend all this money on because I have like a ton and I'm just like not really using it. Maybe I need to use more items. Okay. Oh shit, really? It won't let me go anywhere? Isn't that kind of dumb? Like, I can't go to any other location at the moment. So all that work we just did. Huh. Alright, well, I guess we have to go do that, uh... This stage or dungeon, whatever you want to call it first. I knew I should have taken out Sfrog when I had the chance. Stupid dragon. Expecting you back so right, soon. We'll do it. We'll do it Your right after we're done. Is a regenerous um, lot. Damn! If I would have taken out that dragon, I would have uh, been able to do this. Best of luck out there, Sid. Lame. Lame. Okay. Well, looks like I have to go here. Oh, this might actually not be a. This may not be a dungeon. It might just be. Like a new area we haven't been. <laughs> Come on, Joshua. So Joshua's gonna be on the team now. Alright, this is okay. This is a pretty good group. It's just like when we were chilling with, uh... Oh, yeah, we got... Is this... Oh, okay, so this is the one of the quests, right? Uh, and then here... Well, this will work just fine. I remember we couldn't go through here, but we already got all this stuff. Beauteous. It's like a dream, the four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. Well, I know you're worried about them, but... I'm going here. So is is Joshua gonna be in our group? Cause maybe we could we could just uh well there's there's not a lot of hunts but oh he's coughing. Um, we can use him to our advantage. The bandits may be known against uh, Svarog. Svarog. You shouldn't be too hard to find goods. The gentlemen of the town guard us back. Here we go. Could be I know something. Hey, Clive, listen, I found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. Have you? Go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price, be they knight or knave. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. 
and the more war being waged, the more call for swords and spears. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good Reaper herself. And you've seen this Reaper at work. Aye, it just so happens I have. You'll find her right here, plying her trade most days. Here in Delamil? Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. Here we go. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? I hope so, for your sake. Now, if that's all, I have places to be. Sorry to have kept you. Cool. So we're gonna go. Um... You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do you? She's obviously well, not. She's discovered the idiot. secret of how to be in two places at once. Eh? What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this store he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but be careful, Clive. This guy's a fucking idiot. I want to beat you the shit out goods. of Goose. You big idiot. Karen did nothing wrong. Um, no, I'm gonna go this way. Gotta run in through here. Well, let me just cut right here. <laughs> 